Look at that. Beautiful. Good frames. Nice and smooth. This is a demanding game as well. But Sony optimized this great game like crazy. It's so good. And that's what made me buy the Spider-Man game day one. Because I'm not even a Spider-Man fan. But this game is so much fun. Look at that. Look how smooth it is. Yeah, that's not the PlayStation Portal at all. No, in fact, uh, this is the Backbone 1 for Android and USB-C phones like the iPhone 15 Pro Max and or just the iPhone 15, really. Uh, yeah, um, the Portal just came out, what, this week? And uh, the reviews are kind of dunking on it a little bit. And some people are comparing the Backbone 1 to... The PlayStation Portal. PlayStation Portal is from Sony themselves. It's $199. And it's kind of mid. Um, there's no Bluetooth support on it. And there are several people who have been comparing the Backbone to the PlayStation Portal. And the Backbone is winning. This was a Black Friday deal at Target. In fact, it was at Target, Best Buy, Walmart, Amazon all for $69.99 and yes, I did get the USB-C version. No, I do not have an iPhone 15 I do have this phone though. I never did a video on it. I meant to I've had it for over a year now It's the Samsung Galaxy Z flip 4. I think is what it's called It's a foldable phone and it just kind of sits on my desk a lot of the time So it's a great phone. I've enjoyed it um I never did publish the unboxing and review video. I got busy with other stuff. And at this point, the Flip 5 is out. So you'll probably never see that video. I may include some of that footage at the end of this video. But I don't know if I even have it anymore. Uh, I did do a vlog with it. But that vlog will never be seeing the light of day as well. Just because I was um, talking, you know, about how much I cherished my former friends who I'm no longer friends with so no point of ever posting that vlog either so yeah footage you'll never see that was filmed on this Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 but today we're going to use the Flip 4 for the backbone in fact it's probably going to be the device that will always be in the backbone so while that boots up and does whatever I'm sure there's 500 updates for it let's go ahead and get this thing open and uh, have a look and yeah, the iPhone and the USB-C version were both $69.99. Again, uh, I'd rather use a phone that I don't use every day, such as the Android Flip 4, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4, whatever. This is a weird name they gave it. Where's my knife? I just saw it. Oh, here it is. All right. Got my knife. Just going to slice... Like that. Maybe that'll be enough to, yeah, pull the plastic off. Okay. I'm very curious. My friend Michael Pacheco, he's got the Backbone 1 as well, but he's got the Xbox version. The, the cool thing, and people don't know this, whether you pick the PlayStation version or the Xbox version, both versions will work on the other. So this is the PlayStation-themed white one, which I prefer over the black one. I think it looks better. Uh, but this will work with Xbox as well. It doesn't, it's not just locked to PlayStation and vice versa. So why is this, why is this computer, computer, why is this phone still stuck at Samsung Galaxy? What the heck's going on? I, I know it's been dead for a while, but I did charge it up prior to, hmm. I got a case to fight case on it, which looks, it looks like a shipping box, which I, I liked that. However, this is stuck on Samsung Galaxy. I'm holding the button down to see if it does anything else. Why not do anything? What the heck's going on? 
Okay, I need it to work so I can do the video. Okay, let's, I'll come back to that in a second. Let's open this part. Is it airtight? Yeah, this is a sleeve. Okay, that slides out like that. This is backbone. Ah, here we go. Yeah, it's doing updates. Okay, cool. Just glad it's not broken. Uh, let's see. Backbone. Get the app. Okay, we will do that here in a second. Now, does the backbone work with flip phones? Officially, no. However, I've look, been looking at the Reddit forums for backbone and plenty of people with flip phones uh, use the backbone, no problem. And the, Sa the Samsung uh, Galaxy Z Flip 4, which is what this phone is called, it's a really long name, does in fact work with the backbone. People have been using it with the backbone, no problem. My cat is, you might be able to hear him in the back, he's digging to eternity for some reason in his litter box, and I don't know why. Um, I guess you don't get any cables with it. I thought you got a cable in the box, but I guess not. Kitty, that's the ground. You're not going anywhere. Okay. Cats are funny. He's trying to bury his food. I don't know why he does that. He's the only cat in the house. Uh, okay. Let me get my pen going. And yes, just like the Galaxy S20, it is PewDiePie themed. I put the PewDiePie theme on all my Android phones because uh, PewDiePie is my favorite YouTuber. One of them at least. So that just pulls out and you connect via USB-C. And this phone is so thin, I'm just gonna leave the case on. It should be fine, I would think anyway. Firmly grasp it. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna have to do this part of camera so I, can, I can't, I can't really see what I'm doing. Hold on a second, like that, <laughs> perfect. So yeah, and yes, you can see the crease in reflection. Big whoop, who cares? The crease doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother most people with these phones. I mean, you get you totally forget about it after a while. But some people just have a cow if, if it, everything's not exactly perfect in life. So whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the app real quick. Give me a second. Okay, Play Store is currently downloading the app, so. It's going pretty quick for a phone that's been dead for a while. Why does Dylan's have an app? Why is it in the sponsored in the game area? Dylan's is a grocery store, it's a local grocery store. So why it's in the app store next to all the game recommended apps is, is weird, but whatever. Connect your backbone. Okay, it just it just uh, vibrated. It's probably an on button for the backbone. M maybe. Hello, how do I connect? Did I just press it. Oh, there's a USB C port right there and headphone jacks. So that's nice. Um, but how do I connect the backbone? I got the thing in. It was probably the case. And yeah, the case is keeping. The USB-C from going all the way in the uh, phone. So now, it says welcome to Backbone. Press X to continue. Uh, continue with Google or Apple. We're continuing with Google. This is where I log in. Okay, now it says pick an emoji. Press X to continue. I don't see any emojis. Hold on. Oh, I had to tap on the screen. Okay, um, we're gonna go with, I love the emoji with the cowboy hat because it's sarcasm, basically is what that means. So I use that a lot because I'm sarcastic as a human being. <laughs> All right, backbone display name. Okay, I don't know if you want to add me, but if you want to, it's Danny Minnick. 
display over apps, allow, and all that. Okay, these are all the settings. Um, back bone. Yes. Okay. All right. Back. Need to enable a few things. Okay, we're gonna allow audio. Yes. Enable buttons. Yes. Press to record gameplay. Next, continue. Find friends. Nah, we're gonna skip that one. Uh, hit square to do that. Skip for now. See, play your Xbox, PlayStation, or PC anywhere. See, it doesn't have to be just PlayStation. Okay. Cool. Okay. Early access currently as of this video. PS app start playing. Ooh, that's Dadia. Trife. All right. Uh, Genshin, I already have on my phone. PS app. I may need to go upstairs and hook this up. Yeah. Okay, give me a second. Okay, after a bit more setting up on the PlayStation side, it should be ready to go now. Okay, I was playing Fortnite with Vanessa a little bit ago. Um, I do I play games? So I go to the, I go to the Backbone app. Okay, so start playing. Okay, but now what? Like, let me just click Fortnite. Download remote play app install. I guess it would help if I had remote, remote play installed. I didn't, so that's, that's on me. Okay, I do now. I gotta sign in again. Hold on. Okay, on your PS5, go to settings, system, role play, and then enable. Remote. Okay, that's that's on me. So let me do that. And I'll be right back. Okay, there's my PlayStation. Um, so let's go back. And I'm actually controlling my PS5 with the backbone, which is pretty dope. You know what? We're gonna try Gran Turismo mobile, basically, which is wild to even think about. So, and let me, let me turn down the light box lights. <laughs> okay, I definitely don't have the fastest car in the world, so I'm not gonna, probably not gonna win, win this race, but that's okay. We're just gonna do it to try out the backbone. Okay. Intermediate. <laughs> so weird being able to play Gran Turismo on my on my phone, basically. Ah, yeah, my car's so slow. It's a nice though, it's a nice car, it's a Nissan GTO. Really nice car. I gotta say, there's like almost no input delay. Maybe just a very little, like minute amount of input delay. I 
definitely hear my sound bar on upstairs. Hopefully I don't wake up my grandpa. Okay, let's... Okay, I went upstairs to um, turn off the sound bar. Didn't want to wake up my grandpa. Okay. We're going to try Cyberpunk. Because, of course we are. Because I'm obsessed with this game. in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyberpsychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. Talk so much. I hope that's all clear. So, I will say, I was going to say way earlier, but she kept talking. Um, I can detect just maybe half a second of input lag. And that's because Cyberpunk 2077 is a very demanding game. Uh, as we all know, it had a rough launch because it wasn't quite ready yet. But now, it runs amazing. Uh, it runs decent on remote play. I, I feel like this would probably be easier to play if I didn't have a camera in between me and my backbone. Um, but, you know, is what it is. Let me see if I can draw a weapon. Yeah. All right, let's just cause some chaos because why not? Let's kill this guy. Yeah, you can really detect the delay in the when you when you're aiming down sights with this game. Cyberpunk might not be the best game to play this with, but the fact that you can is is pretty dope. Not gonna lie, it's actually really dope. So. All right, let's try another game. Again, this is easy to do if I didn't have a camera in, in between me and the device. Uh, let's see. Down. Home. Go ahead and close out of Cyberpunk all the way. Let's try the new Spider-Man, right? Let's just try that. That'll be interesting. And yeah, I could demo Fortnite, but I've already demoed Fortnite in the past on other things, so.
So I will say the sound has been very solid, and I have not really, I don't think I've skipped any frames. Like, I know Sony's official device, there's, there's like been frame drops and sound has been skippy and all that. It's wild how Sony make, they, they basically made this device, right? But it's all in one, yet it's got more issues than, than the third party backbone for half the price, you know? Look at that. Beautiful. Good frames. Nice and smooth. This is a demanding game as well. But Sony optimized this great game like crazy. It's so good. And that's what made me buy the Spider-Man game day one. Because I'm not even a Spider-Man fan. But this game is so much fun. Look at that. Look how smooth it is. You don't get this kind of smoothness with the PlayStation Portal. Look at all the other reviews. I'm not hating on the Portal. I actually do want one, but not in its current state. It needs to be refined. Um, you know, if somebody does that, I'll consider one. Or if I can find one for a good deal, maybe I'll consider one then. You know, I probably will end up with one. I'm, just, I'm not saying I won't. I'm just saying the backbone is crazy smooth. And it's not even a first-party device. It's a third-party device on your phone. It just makes you wonder. I don't know the specs of the PlayStation Portal, but it makes you wonder, Ken, is, is my Galaxy Z Flip 4 higher spec than PlayStation Portal? It might be. I don't know. I haven't looked, but it just might be. This plays beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. I am thoroughly surprised. Now, my gameplay sucks because I'm a noob at this game. That's beside the point. I think Cyberpunk struggled just a tiny bit, but again, I think also that also had to do with the fact that there's a camera in my way, and I'm looking at the screen through a camera, or actually through an iPhone, and uh, yeah, yeah, I'm using my iPhone to record my Android phone, in case you're wondering, but wow, I am so impressed with this, the way this plays on the backbone is incredible. I can actually play this whole game, I think, on the backbone, and I may end up doing that. Who knows? So, yeah, I'm very, very satisfied. Very happy with that. Found some bad guys on accident. Yeah, I'm just pressing buttons. Anyway, that's the backbone. Uh, it's really comfortable to hold, too, by the way. Uh, solid build. PlayStation logo on the back. Yes, I got the gold flip four. Uh, yeah, all around. I, I love it. I'm getting absolutely annihilated, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. More to come. Stay tuned, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. And take cover, I guess. I'm getting... Bye. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Need healing. There we go. All right. I'm all good now. Okay. For real. Take care.